Good evening, my fellow scientists. It is Sunday, July 8th, 2018, and I want to update you all on progress on the all iron battery. For those of you who may be new here, we have been working for the last year on building a battery with an iron anode and an iron salt cathode. And we've been looking for the last few weeks on how to build a separator to go between those two components. What is a separator? It needs to be something that can allow ions to pass, but not allow just lots of conductivity of electrons to go through, thereby shorting the battery. We can evaluate our separators using a little cell that we built that has iron three on one side and iron two on the other. As those two mix, they discharge, and we can monitor how fast that occurs using a simple volt logger. So we've been looking at a number of different separators to go between these two compartments, and we've tried paper impregnated with agar, paper impregnated with hydrogel, a acrylamide acrylic acid copolymer. We've tried paper impregnated with nafion, which is a well-known fuel cell and battery separator material. Unsurprisingly, that's been the best so far. And then we've also tried today uh, to use a 64 nanometer controlled pore membrane, which is sort of another contender for high price, high performance. I'm actually pretty happy with the Nafion. As you can see here, Nafion remains the best contender. I've ordered some professional grade Nafion membrane to compare to our paper impregnated with Nafion membrane. And one more trial we want to do this week, the commercial grade synthetic polyacrylic acid came in yesterday. So we can try that this week and see if this diaper absorbent material may be a substitute that one could use in a sort of low tech scenario instead of trying to resynthesize a hydrogel membrane from scratch, which is what we did with what I would call marginal results, as you can see there. So stay tuned uh, next week. We will finish our round of separator comparisons and hopefully we will start in on scaling up the battery shortly. Our plan is to build a full six volt battery array of cells proper term being a battery and that, that six volt battery will hold enough to uh, to evaluate in a sort of long-term charge discharge scenario as one might want to do with the uh, solar array and led lighting so if you like that kind of thing please turn in every week we talk about the all iron battery with support from our crowdfunding sponsors thank you very much to those of you who supported us. Thanks very much to Nico who worked very hard this week and we will see you next Sunday.